next area is kind of a, a hypothetical question and one that I think is probably one of the more common uh, cases that I would get brought in on. And that is in a typical divorce forensic expert witness engagement, walk us through the vocational experts process to determine the earning capacity of a stay at home parent or a parent who's been absent from the labor market for 10 years or more. And in that context, how much does a college degree matter? Or how does a college degree impact the result? So this is, I would say, probably 80% of the cases I get engaged in in a family law area in, in Memphis would be a spouse who's been out of the labor market for an extended period of time, usually to be the primary caregiver to children or raise a family. And let me answer the question from the back first. And the first thing would be is that a college degree is extremely relevant and extremely important. Important. Somebody who has a college degree is going to, to me, would indicate that they have the demonstrated ability to acquire skills and to learn and learn new information. And so as the labor market changes and as the labor market evolves and how jobs evolves and changes and technology infiltrates the labor market, a person with a college degree is going to do a lot better in terms of making that transition. So a college degree is extremely important. Um, that does not mean that somebody who doesn't have a college degree can't acclimate to the labor market. They're just gonna have some issues that we want to address in the vocational assessment and show that, yes, despite maybe some underdeveloped education or you know, um, lower educational profile, there are still ways for that person to enter the labor market in, in the current sense, in the current configuration. Um, with a person being out of the labor market for 10, 10 years or more, again, I think a person with a college degree is an example. What we wanna highlight in there and what would be the issue is can the person acquire the skills needed to be current in the labor market in the area that maybe they have developed skills and training, whether it's a school teacher, a nurse, um, uh, a fundraiser was one that I've done recently. Um, you know, x-ray technician, different things like this that people have worked before and now have been out of the labor market. And the, and the idea that a person has potentially worked before but been out of the labor market before, what we can do and highlight is what was their previous work experience prior to being out of the labor market? And what do they need to take to be get back into the labor market? So would, would that need to be potentially some retraining or upping their skills to get their certifications current or licensures current? Um, maybe any technology that has evolved since when they left the labor market, what type of training might they need? So I think two issues become relevant to that then is we're probably gonna anticipate some kind of delayed entry for a person to upskill. And then two, the fact that they would be entering the labor market, they're gonna enter at the entry level and work themselves up. So for example, if somebody is a school teacher, as an example, who's trained as a school teacher, worked for a couple of years and then stayed at home to raise a family, is now in their mid fifties, can they work as a school teacher? They have an elementary education degree, let's say, yes. What does it take for that person to get their licensure current? That's the first question. And then the next question would be, what could the person earn? And let's say the, the median earnings for an elementary school teacher in the Memphis area is, let's say, $65,000 a year. That person is not going to start out making $65,000 a year. They're going to come in at the more entry level and then work themselves up over time. So that needs to be factored into the case where the person has been out of the labor market for so long. So... The question becomes on these cases with 10 to 15 years, 20 years out of the labor market is, um, can they enter the labor market? If so, what skills and uh, training do they need to get ready for the current labor market? And if that happens, what could they earn starting out and what could they be expected to earn over a period of time? 